Hello, I'm Dr. Matthew Imber from Lamont Natural Healthcare. I want to take a minute and talk to you about vertigo. Vertigo is a sensation of movement, usually spinning, when no movement is actually occurring. Vertigo accounts for 54% of the cases where patients experience dizziness, and it affects up to 10% of the population. There is no single cause of vertigo, and therefore no single treatment. When assessing what treatment is best for your vertigo, we have to look at where the problem presides. To start, we have to determine if the problem is central or peripheral. Let's take a minute to talk about what it means when we say central or peripheral. Vertigo is caused by dysfunction in your vestibular system. Just like your visual system has peripheral receptors, the eyes, your vestibular system has peripheral receptors which are located in your inner ear. Each receptor, the right and the left, is made up of three semicircular canals, an anterior, also known as superior, lateral, also known as horizontal, and posterior canal. These canals are filled with fluid called endolymph and have little stones floating in them known as otoliths. As your head experiences acceleration in different directions, it will move the stones in one of the canals based on which direction you are moving. For example, if you put your head back or fall backwards, the stones in that posterior canal will fire off the receptors in this corresponding canal. Once the signal is generated, it is sent to the brain via the vestibulocochlear nerve, and it is translated into a sensation of movement. If we return to our previous example of the posterior canal firing, that information is sent to a central processing unit and then you perceive the sensation of moving backwards. Vertigo can be a problem in the peripheral receptor or the central processing unit. This is what we are referring to when we say we have to figure out if the problem is central or peripheral. If the problem is peripheral, it will usually have a positional component. What that means is a specific head movement will be able to reproduce symptoms. For example, if the problem is with your right posterior receptor, then putting your head back into the right will aggravate vertigo symptoms. When the problem is with the vestibular cochlear nerve, you will often experience hearing loss or tinnitus, which is ringing in the ears. Vertigo can also be a problem with the brain and not the peripheral receptor. This is the central cause of vertigo. In this case, the receptors are functioning correctly but your brain is unable to translate the information it is given. You then develop a sensory mismatch in which you perceive movement that is not actually happening. After we have fully determined the cause of your vertigo, we have to treat the specific area of dysfunction. Often, if it is a peripheral problem, treatment includes repositioning the stones that may have become stuck in a specific canal and are continually firing that receptor. In the case of a central mediated problem, we have to perform complex neural exercises to reprogram how your brain deals and perceives movement. It should be noted that medication designed for vertigo does not differ depending on the cause and is only designed to mask symptoms. So to find out what treatment is best for your vertigo, call us today at 630-257-05 five zero to set up your complimentary consultation. Thank you.